everybody and welcome to another Villanova Dynasty episode. Villanova number 14 in the Kraft Fight Hunger Bowl against the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. As you can see, Georgia Tech definitely a running team. They like to use that triple option that Navy makes so famous. Georgia Tech can be tough to stop at times. Uh, Marshall is the new quarterback at Virginia Tech. He's an impact player. He loves running the football, and Villanova has had trouble with running quarterbacks. They've had some difficulty with some option offenses, though they did handle Navy well a couple times that they did play them, and they run that triple option as well. So Villanova's going to have to stay consistent on offense with Malik Dupree. Basu's going to have to try and be mistake-free today. Let's see what they can do against Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech's going to start with the football, and there is Marshall. It will be Taquan Marshall, and he's going to pick up some yardage right there, four yards. And then on this play, a few missed tackles, guys falling to the ground. Sanders in pursuit. He will not get there. And another man falls on the ground for Taquan Marshall to be able to get into the end zone and give Georgia Tech a 7-0 lead. Malik Dupree starting the first drive for the Villanova Wildcats. He had 16, 1,969 yards with 22 touchdowns in the season. Picks up a first down there. And now on first down, the very next play, he will pick up another first down. Second and 12, Vasu throwing, and he finds Travis George open coming across the field, and he has got some good rack yardage here for an over 40-yard gain. Now Vasu throwing, nearly intercepted on third down by Dorian Walker of Georgia Tech. So now the field goal will still put Georgia, will still have Georgia Tech on top as Villanova down 7-3, a first down there. And now I really cannot pronounce this man's name, but he is running like a beast right now. There's Cottrell. And Cottrell is going to run. Nate Cottrell is going to get it to a third and two. Cottrell is going to finish it off here with a 12-yard run. Now they're going to give it back to uh, Weimer Schmersch. Weimer Schmersch. I guess that's his name. Weimer Schmersch. There's Nate Cottrell again. Now a third and goal and a throw. And it is dropped by the receiver. Taquan Marshall throws one pass and it's already an incomplete. But they would get a field goal and further advance their lead back to seven points. It is a 10-3 ball game. First down Villanova there. Now Vasu Sharma. And Vasu going to pick up five yards here. Now there's Malik Dupree. And Malik is going to end up with a first down after a seven-yard gain. That will end the first quarter. Georgia Tech on top. 10-3 there. Giving Villanova a little bit of a hard time. Villanova coming out of the break. Going to go with a screenplay to Malik Dupree, and that'll get them inside the 35. Here's Vasu. He will throw to Todd Gray, and Todd Gray is going to pick up the rest. That is a first down of 22 yards. Now here's Vasu. Vasu Sharma is going to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown, Villanova. An eight-yard touchdown run for Vasu, and he has tied the ball game with 5.11 to go in the second. Now 4.42 to go in the second. Nine-yard run by Riemerschmersch. And there is Cottrell, and Cottrell will not get there. The Villanova defense holds, and their offense will get a chance to take a lead here. Basu Sharma throwing, and he will be intercepted by Mitchell of the Georgia Tech defense. And Georgia Tech will take over. There's a throw. That'll be incomplete. So the interception will yield a field goal to Georgia Tech. It is 13 to 10. Vasu finds Travis George again, and Travis George for nine yards this time. Second and one. Sharma over to Gray, and Gray will pick up a few yards. That'll be good enough for a first down. Now there's a throw, and that's J.D. Hernandez. J.D. Hernandez for a nine-yard reception. There's Malik Dupree. Malik Dupree, an eight-yard run. First and ten now. Sharma to Gray. And Gray will get out of bounds. 15-yard gain. There's Dupree again, and that'll set up a third and two. Third and two. They're going to give it to Malik Dupree, and he's going to get right up the middle with an 11-yard gain. 31 seconds on the clock. There's Malik Dupree, and he's got himself a touchdown, and Villanova has their first lead of the ball game. It'll be a 17-13 lead with 29 seconds to go in the half. 
Georgia Tech taking over. Nice throw to Wesley Coleman. Marshall again now. He's going to throw, and that's another. Ooh, that's an incomplete. They say no on that one. That looked like a toe-tap grab, possibly. There's an interception by Joey Blair at the end of the half to prevent a run here for Georgia Tech. And now Malik Dupree running the ball. Nine seconds to go. Vasu, and he's got a man, and it's Todd Gray. And Todd Gray will get it to the five-yard line. Villanova would end the half with a field goal there as there was just three seconds to go. And Villanova able to take a full touchdown lead into the half. Coming out of the half now, it is Malik Dupree picking up four yards. Now first and ten. Basu, he will find Todd Gray. Todd Gray gets across the 50. Here's Malik Dupree on a second and six, and you know he's picking up more than six. Now on third and seven, they need to get there, and Travis George just shy. They will take a field goal. Villanova opening up the second half of the field goal. They now have a 10-point lead, and Xavier Gant, nice job there, and it's intercepted again. Joey Blair with 2.22 to go in the third. Joey Blair does it again. He's got two big interceptions here in this game, and Villanova has a chance to put a dagger into the hearts of Georgia Tech fans. Here's Vasu. He's going to run with it, and he is going to pick up nine yards. That'll leave a second and one. Malik Dupree is easily good for it. He picks up four. Now Vasu. Looking, finds J.D. Hernandez. J.D. Hernandez will get to the marker. First and goal. Now on a second and goal. Easy walk-in touchdown for the Heisman Trophy winner, Malik Dupree. Malik Dupree at the end of the third quarter has given the Villanova Wildcats a 30-13 lead over the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets in the Kraft Fight Hunger Bowl. Here we go, fourth quarter now. Marshall will get sacked on third down, and Villanova comes away with a big stop there, and they have stopped Georgia Tech in their tracks. Georgia Tech... No points since the half. Here is Malik Dupree, and what a punt return by Malik Dupree. Setting up a nice first and 10. Vasu gets the 11 yards and slides down. Here's Vasu again. Vasu gets it to Dupree on the screen, and that'll be a first down. Third and five now. Malik Dupree keeps it alive. Almost scores with an eight-yard run. Third and goal, and Malik Dupree will get in. A two-yard touchdown run, and now it is somewhat of a bludgeoning by the Villanova offense, a 37-13 lead. Taquan Marshall will get to the outside and pick up a first down. Maybe some life into the Georgia Tech offense until Sanders is able to pick the ball off. That's right, Adam Sanders, the freshman safety out of Cedar Lake, Indiana. Malik Dupree, an easy first down for him. Now Aaron Lane getting into a little bit of the action. A 10-yard first down run. There's Malik Dupree again, and he's going to get there. He gets all the way into the end zone with a 16-yard touchdown run. A brilliant run by Malik Dupree will cap this game off. He has 161 yards, four touchdowns on the ground. Basu being lifted by Joey Blair. Joey Blair, a big part of the defense today. Basu Sharma able to get 15 out of 20, even with that interception, 194 yards. Not his best game of true game manager type of game for him. Malik Dupree, 161 yards, four touchdowns. Just a brilliant game for a man who has won the Heisman and may be leaving early to the NFL entry draft. Who knows? Now receiving the football, there's Todd Gray, 91 yards, Travis George, 65. So they showed up today. J.D. Hernandez made two catches. Nothing to report on the blocking end of things. Looking at defensively, Sanders with the most tackles today. TFLs, there you go, Edwards and Houston. Defensive line did a decent job. There's a couple sacks right there, Edwards and Houston with one each. Joey Blair, really proud of this junior that we got as a sophomore juco two interceptions today as well as freshman adam sanders really looking forward to see what he can bring in future seasons 
as Villanova has come away with a 44 to 13 victory in the Craft Fight Hunger Bowl. Mark Ferrante now goes to level 22, which means good things in a moment. Basu Sharma breaks the school career passing touchdown record, and he could still play for another two seasons if he so chooses. Malik Dupree breaks the school career rushing touchdown record, and he could still play for another season, so he would have an opportunity to add to that. Malik Dupree breaking the school season rushing touchdown record with 26. He breaks his own record of 20. Malik Dupree breaking the school career rushing yards record by about 603. And like I said, he could still play another year if he so chooses. Malik Dupree breaks the school season record of 1,633 yards with a record of 2,119 yards. That is a lot. So Mark Ferrante, there he goes with the coach upgrade. We will get another instant commit level. Only one more left and we'll be fully good on the recruiting end of things. That is all for this. You guys are going to get an off-season uh, preview and season recap video on Friday of this week. That'll be October 20th. And then the Villanova off-season will be streamed on Saturday night. That is the 21st of October. So get hyped in the comments below. Have a good one.